Welcome to the Office of Hugren Investigations. I'm Hugren, your nomadic gamer and private investigator. Let's see if we can right some wrongs in judgment. Don't take another step. You see this? Is he wearing a, a deck, nabbit dude? Crud. <laughs> Quite a sight, isn't it? You see, I am the last bomb. What are you trying to pull? What do you gain by blowing yourself up? This town's security is trash, and I need to make them see that. What do you mean? Well, this guy was apparently fired from a security firm three months ago. Does that answer your question? You're fast. And yes, I'm going to teach those money-grabbing sons of, you know, a lesson they won't soon forget. I gave everything I had to the city. I created a detailed proposal to revamp the entire city security. And they just laughed at the cost. It's clear they won't do anything until something serious happens. You can talk all you want, but I think we both know all you really want is revenge. Revenge has nothing to do with it. I'm sacrificing myself to show the people of Camarocho the truth. And with that, bombs away. No, stop! Uh, <laughs> I think not, sir. I'm afraid that won't work. I hacked into your transmitter and changed the frequency. What? <laughs> You're done. Come quietly. Oh, no. I'm not going down without a fight. Not a wise choice. Yeah, you heard me. Get up. special move was gonna be, you jerk. But no, you had to push me away. <laughs> Thank goodness that's over. Yeah. We go now to breaking news. The man suspected of bombing incidents in Kamurocho has finally been apprehended. The suspect, Ryu Asaka, a 34-year-old convenience store employee, was fired from his security firm earlier this year. According to police, the rejection of Asaka's security proposal was the motive for his actions. Asaka's private residence has been searched, and we are told some explosive devices have been deactivated. Well, that sounds like this is all wrapped up. Oh, you won, Tsukumo. Not at all. This was like something straight out of a video game. Well, you hungry? It's my treat. <laughs> nah, no need, Yakimi. I've actually got a date with a lady friend of mine. What? Seriously? I fixed an issue she was having with her phone at the Ned Cafe, and she was so grateful we're having dinner. <laughs> For real? And you're going dressed like that? She's weird, Yakimi. She likes me just the way I am. Even said I was cute. <laughs> wow. Are, are you... Some kind of ladies' man in your circle, Sukumo? <laughs> <laughs> what can I say? I must be sitting on the F5 key because my my butt is refreshing. <laughs> oh, for next time, I'm letting you get blown up. 
All right. Yeah, sure. Why not? Okay. That was unexpected. But if I get, if I run into some bums, I'm gonna totally whooping them this time. Pebble. That's a buddy. Hey. Hey, what's up, fellas? Here, give me a minute. Get out of here. You too. <laughs> yep. What a waste. No idea how much I had to avoid you guys. Just gonna step over you. Collect a bunch of random garbage that's on the street. I'm gonna use that eventually because I have. Whoa. There we go. Ow. Ow. Got a drone that needs repair and work. Uh, yeah, I gotta come in here, but first... Happy wire. Are you really just sitting there? I thought you were gonna go into the, uh... You... I thought you would go into the casino that's downstairs. I thought he, of all people, would know about it. You got here faster than I thought you would, Yagami-san. Well, how'd it go? Find anything between Kajihira and Kazumi? <laughs> Just a couple of rumors, really. Then what's with that grin? Fine. You got me. You know that meeting they had? Turns out, it was about the ADDC. What? Yeah, what's going on? Oh, we in for some juicy tidbits, boys. Juicy information time. For years now, the Kajihira group has been secretly planning an absolutely massive redevelopment project. And where were they planning it? This plot of land right here. The Koi? Oh. That's the ADDC. Huh. Yep. The area around it, too. To be precise, Kajihira wanted all the land belonging to the Medical Institute. Which, as you know, is managed by none other than the Ministry of Health. Well, so, Kajahira's redevelopment plan was premised on getting land from the Ministry of Health. That explains why Kajihira needed to talk to Minister Kazumi. If they want to go forward with the redevelopment, they'll have to shut the Institute down, including the ADDC. But is getting just one bigwig on board with the project enough? It is in this case. Apparently, Kazumi was already planning to shut the center down. Huh? See, the Institute was created with the goal of addressing Japan's aging population problem. Too many seniors, not enough babies, all that. But for the past 10 years, the money's been going into a black hole. People even call it a tax scam. I mean, they're not wrong. Management's just a bunch of crusty government types. I see. So if the Minister of Health says the time's up... Bye-bye, ADDC. Hello, giant plot of land. Wouldn't that reflect poorly on Kazumi, though? Maybe, but I doubt he'd mind so long as he got a nice kickback from it. And that's exactly what Kajihira put on the table. I'm sure it was enough to cover the damage. A big old bribe, basically. On top of that, Kajihira bought up all the land around the center years back to avoid rising prices. So all he needed was the Ministry of Health's go-ahead? <laughs> They're not even trying to hide it. Yep. But as luck would have it, it just wasn't meant to be. One day, Kajihira's redevelopment project suddenly got flushed down the drain. Something happened preventing the ADDC from closing. The murder. It's all thanks to this guy. Kido and his 89 research. Oh. Yeah. You don't just shut down a dementia drug that could change the world. So Kazumi started singing 89's praises to anyone who'd listen. And you know how it ends. The ADDC stayed in business, the money kept flowing, the research kept going. Kazumi brushed the whole deal under the rug. And pulled it right out from under Kajihira. Yep. Hmm. Guy must have lost billions in the process. I wonder what that feels like. 
<laughs> I guess he's not too happy with this 89 business. Right. How'd you get all this anyway? I literally asked you today. <laughs> <laughs> you want to look behind the curtain, huh? What? Uh, it's not that impressive. It was all published online last year. Tag nab it. <laughs> I googled it. <laughs> it was a pretty gripping article, but they couldn't substantiate their claims. Everyone wrote it off as tabloid nonsense. I think they might have been right. W why? The piece is by Kohatori. He's an asshole. W you know him? Yeah, we go back. And apparently he stormed Genda's office today looking for an interview. Huh? Doesn't that mean you can ask him yourself? You better get a move on. Uh, I guess I'll have to. Kajahira has lost a ton of money because of this ADDC business. Did that have anything to do with why Shintani and those Kyore guys got murdered? I mean, I doubt it. I mean, what would... What would the mole have to do with any of that, which is essentially who we're after. That just doesn't add up right now. There's still an awful lot of, uh... Well, yeah, there's just a whole lot of holes right now. Let's go see the boss. Excuse me, car. I'm running. Oh, wait. What's this? Ah, empty bottle. What did that guy say? Oh, Bantam. I thought he said Batman. Hey. Oh, hello there. How you doing? Here, hold on. Hi. Nope, no, 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 no. <laughs> Never get whacked with a <laughs> traffic cone. Congratulations. Oh, I overran it. Here we go. Time to see the boss. What's she doing here? Oh, hey, Yagami-san. Yo, what's up, bro? Is Satori still here? No, he actually left a while ago. Oh, yeah? <laughs> you really did scare him off then, huh? More like he couldn't handle Saori-san staring into his soul. <sighs> Saori-san. <laughs> the best <Okay>. guard. <laughs> By the way, um... Hmm? Off for you. Yeah, what's uh... I came to offer condolences for Shintani Sensei. That's not the only reason. Tell Yagami san straight. <laughs> right. <laughs> yeah, this ain't the Gendu law office. This is the Sari san law office. My goodness. <laughs> How are you doing? Go talk to Mafuyu. But, 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 you, but, you, but you're right here. I want to, I want to, I, I want to talk to you. But all right. Something you needed to say? Yes. Well, Izumita wants to take you in, Yakumi-kun, for Shintani Sensei's murder. Yeah, I know. Does he? A detective by the name of Kuroiwa said I was a material witness too. What is going on, Yakumi-kun? <sighs> Hey, I could ask you the same thing. Just to be sure, you didn't do it, did you? No. Me? Kill Shintani? I don't like him, but I ain't got a reason yes. to kill him. Of course I didn't. How could you even ask? I'm a prosecutor, remember? Doubting people is my job. So why does Izumita suspect me? Does he even have anything to go on? I I'm not sure. They're leaving me out of the loop on purpose, I think. But even Morita-san suspects you. 
They really don't like me, huh? I don't think they can charge you with a murder on the grounds of not liking you, Yakumi-kun. Well, either way, I'm glad you didn't kill anyone. But if anything comes up, feel free to get in touch. If it's within my power, I'll do what I can to help. Thank you. Thanks, Ma, for you. I want to thank you folks for coming by to watch my videos. It means a lot to me. Now, if you enjoyed this video and you want to support more of my content, go ahead and click that like and subscribe button. Maybe start a conversation in the comments. Now, I publish content every Tuesdays and Thursdays, but if you feel like you need an extra reminder, go ahead and click that notification bell. And until next time, folks, peace.